Welcome to finals day. Toledo taking on Medina to round out the back end of the draw. The first semifinal already stacked up and ready to go with Jordy Smith and Wade Carmichael. Later on today, Toledo and Medina meet again just for the fourth time in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Joe Turpel alongside longtime legend, 89-year-old champ Martin Potter. Here we go, Toledo up and out. These guys are super deep around the corner at the point and get some space down the line, Potts. Yeah, well, here he goes again, Joe. So still moving. To get this heat started is Felipe. Floats it to come around the corner, starting this heat with a lot of energy with that speed that he's gathering. Nice, clean connection through the roof. Whitewater approaching, floats it. The fastest surfer on tour. Redirect off the top, winding up for the float. Beats that section without a problem to jam it under the lip. And those for a big flyaway punt and just couldn't get the grab on the extension. Unbelievable the ground he can cover out there on a challenging wave to ride. We'll get some scores to back up the 1-5 just to create some space. And now his better score about to drop in. The new fin system obviously doing its job there. Just that fin popping out. Let's have a look at Toledo. Talk about one of the fastest surfers in the world. This is why. Look at the speed that he's got right now. Just looks so casual. And he flies into this first turn through the lip. This is a long, drawn-out wall. And Felipe Toledo matching the speed of the wave. Now he starts to go to town through the inside here. Up and over again. Toledo looking for a big finish on this one. Beautiful snap there. Just trying to get back out on the open face. And goes for the big air reverse. Missed the grab and unfortunately goes down on that last turn. The legs would have been burning, Joe. You can see him searching for the grab there, just didn't quite get it. Uh, unable to, ooh, looks like he sat down on it. Looks like he uh, knocked that out by himself. So you see him signaling there for his caddy. As we see Felipe now up again. And we see what sort of decision he's making. Here's all over the rocks on the inside. Check the bottom of that board. Looking at his equipment there, studying what happened to that fin. So he's losing that outside fin. Magic one for him, Joe. And I guess that's the beauty of the fin systems in this day and age. I mean, back in the old days, your, your fins were glassed into the board. To see him with that kind of confidence. Thank you, Sean. We're watching Felipe Toledo after the quick fin change. Already back into the lineup with some momentum. High line, top turn car, almost flew out the back. Crushes the next section over the white water. Quick snap down the line. Winding up, clear for takeoff, oh. upside down. He did this uh, maneuver, which is just absolutely insane. He flies down the line here, first turn, kind of made a little bit of a slip up, but wiping off speed, but Toledo so quick at getting back on track. A nice little turn there. Beautiful snap again, and then watch this maneuver here, right in the pocket of the wave, lands it. I don't know how he spun that thing around, Joe. That was absolutely insane. A really quick, tight transition. Toledo got a lot of pop in his step. Now he gets the grab. Look at the body position. Unbelievable. Pokes the nose, tail lands, spins it around nice and clean, comes out. What a maneuver there from Felipe Toledo. Just one of the best at that, Joe. Absolutely incredible. Blats and nails it. Medina to answer, tail high whip, and he gets exploded on the impact. Man was right on the money, 8.17 for Toledo. Medina with priority, but 19.30 to go. First turn of float to cover some ground. Deep off the bottom, nice clean hack, just getting some space. Former world champ blasting that one off the roof. Fins out the back. Steps on the float, just speeding down the line. Nice vertical off the roof and another finishing move down the beach for Medina. Gabriel's best so far. He needed two waves before that wave, so the combination's broke and now he can try to turn it in one opportunity. I love the flow that Medina has on the back end, which is so difficult to do. To be able to fit your turns in and still keep that down the line momentum. No one does it better than Gabriel Medina. Just sliding the back out, the fins out the back on that occasion. It's that little projection he gets just to keep that board moving. Slicing through the lip and then vertical at the end there. So not a radical finish on that wave, but just a good step in the right direction for Gabriel. The defending champ at Jay Bay. 
Starting up his first move off the top. Beautiful. Down car. Big rip off the top with that front side hook. Wide open face. Layback jam for Toledo. Just trims it. Keeps that high line. Winds up for the float. Hard off the bottom. Layback oh. hack and loses the handle. Toledo, as soon as he stands up, he has everybody on the edge of their seat. They're standing, just waiting for him to absolutely blow your mind. That was a pretty pretty solid score there for Gabriel. Let's have a look at Felipe's wave. Nice jam on the opening turn. Nice bit of release there. Watch how hard he turns. I mean, this kid's starting to get so powerful as he grows up and gets bigger and stronger. Now he comes down around the section, floats it up over the top, a little bit off balance there, and then really hooking into it. You can see the nose is grabbing. A mistake there from Felipe Toledo. Three of them jumped through the wave right there. It was amazing. Out the back, it looks like we have uh, Gabriel Medina up. Medina now setting this one up and quickly just adjusting his position out the back. 15 on the clock, another wave behind it here. And there's no interference call if a dolphin drops in on you. <laughs> He's going to leave Toledo out the back for the biggest set wave. Here we go, Joe. World number four, Medina locks in his first turn. Big vertical, falls out of the sky. Big hack on the second effort. Wide open face to work with. Another clean backside snap in the pocket, belting the fourth, blowing the tail out. Nice clean re-entry, keeping that pace well through the inside wall. Now looking for a big finish. Backhand float over the barrel. Is that going to better his 6.33? I think so. Let's have a look at Medina's wave, though. Free fall drop on maneuver number one. He slices through that second turn. Nice, clean, smooth projection off the bottom from Gabriel Medina. He's clicking exactly when he needs to. Reacting every time that wave stands up, Medina just goes to town on it. There's that big lengthy float to finish off and gives him the bit of a flex saying that was good. Sing on the finish. Power turn out the back for Toledo as he's speeding down the line. Hits the roof. Throws a quick shaka to the crowd on the beach and we'll see what he did out the back in just a moment. Just wants to get that two wave total happening at the moment. Just a 6.5. Let's have a look at the wave behind Felipe Toledo took. Bigger set wave, big projection float from him. Deep bottom turn. There's that big wrapping maneuver from Toledo. Up through the lip again. Critical stuff from Toledo. Double overhead size wave from him. Another carving turn. Toledo comes around the corner, bashes it up through the lip again. Says thank you very much. The finals day at the Corona Open J Bay Stop Six of the World Surf League Championship Tour. We have an incredible all Brazilian matchup. Regular versus Goofy, the Goofy Footers, the 2014 World Champ, Medina. Up live, doing a quick snap, he's out of there. Exchange before we went to break was a massive one. It's absolutely mind-blowing that he pulled that off yeah. with such extension. An incredible technique. This is Medina up and out, 7.15 on the clock here in quarterfinal number three. And Toledo still setting the pace. Looks like he could have some opportunities rolling his way. Medina's going to freestyle through the inside now. And as I thought, he's going to get two scores on the board, and then we're going to see Medina go to town and maybe produce something above the lip. Gabriel Medina up and out. Both these guys are so dangerous without priority. The year that Medina clinched, he was on the beach doing interviews. So Toledo sat out the back wondering what was going on. Finally getting the rematch now. First turn for Medina. One hack, and he'll kick out. Toledo did a really radical air. He didn't get past him. He's had one win against Medina in the past. Winding up for something big. Tail high reverse, laying back to recover is Gabriel. The crowd wants him to get there. And after some hard work, he'll get the completion. But might as well entertain the crowd just to pull that thing off real quick. Yeah, well, we knew exactly what he was gonna do. Get those two waves under his belt, and then we were gonna see this kind of stuff above the lip surfing. I mean, how did he get back up on his feet there, Joe? Just the core strength to be able to pull that board back under your feet. And right out of that is just a, a freakish talent from Gabriel Medina. Didn't quite get his, the, the pop and the rotation that he was looking for. 
Still, though, nice and high, landing that board, sliding out. He goes into almost like a layback situation, pulling the board back under his feet. That wave actually gave him a little bit of a help there and stood him back up on his feet. So crazy stuff there from Gabriel Medina. I don't think that's going to go into his top two, but good effort nonetheless. Felipe Toledo looking to improve on a 7.93. Gabriel Medina is going to get one of these as well. Gabriel Medina first will take that second wave of the set on his way back out from the air. Blasting his fins out, controls that board slide. Power hack off the top for Gabriel. Lip line float, he's got some room on the inside. Bonus float again and recovers under the lip. Medina on wave number one of the set. A little check turn snap, comes off the bottom, bash, bashes the tail out, almost lost it but then regathered. Medina so solid on his feet. Up and over it with a floater maneuver. And again, another floater. Free fall drop and then straight into a vertical turn. Can't wait to see what went down on this wave. 7.93 is what he needs to better just to put it out of reach of Gabriel Medina. Nice opening carve there from Toledo. He races down the line, waiting for this wave to stand up. Beautiful conditions here at Jeffrey's Bay. Now he starts to pick up speed. One of the fastest surfers in the world. And there it is, that big down carve from Toledo. Jams it in the pocket again. I mean, this is, and there's that big lip line float, the free fall drop. He comes out and he said, yep, that's me. Big scores dropping for that last wave from Felipe. And it's gonna be a little bit better than Gabriel Medina's best score, Joe. And there it is. A 9.33 for Toledo on the end of that wave where he did a massive finish and looked up to the crowd, a 17.5 total.